Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I am showing you a very easy, extremely delicious plant-based sweet potato and black bean chili. And not only am I gonna show you how to make it, I'm also gonna show you three ways to reuse it during the week. So you could add this to your meal prep on the weekend and then treat it as a head start ingredient once your week gets going. So to get started, I have a nice big pot heating up over a medium heat. This pot is five quarts. And once it heats up, I'm adding one tablespoon of olive oil, which is gonna heat up quickly and you'll know because it's gonna start to shimmer. And then you're ready for the veggies. So I've got one chopped onion, two chopped bell peppers, and I like to use two different colors just because it makes the chili really bright and vibrant and beautiful, and you do have to remember that we eat with our eyes first. And then I've got two chopped up sweet potatoes, which is about four cups, and what you wanna do is scrub your sweet potatoes really well, get them clean, and then I just like to slice them in half, cut them into boards, then into strips, switch it, go the other way, and you've got a nice, fine chop. You do not need to remove the skins because you need to remember that the skin has a lot of fiber and a lot of nutrients. Okay, so I give all of that a pinch of salt, give it a stir, and then let it go for about five minutes or until the onions are beginning to look translucent and everything is nice and fragrant. Then I'm ready to add in my garlic. I've got four cloves of chopped up garlic and some spices. One tablespoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of ground cumin, which adds a lot of warmth without adding any heat. So that's nice for chili and it's good for kids and two teaspoons of curry powder because I love the combination of sweet potatoes and curry together. And guys, if I did not have kids and this wasn't gonna be a family meal, I would also do a little cayenne pepper or some chopped up jalapeno here. So if you like spice, now would be the time to add it in. Then I give that all another pinch of salt, a little bit of black pepper, and give it a good stir. Then once you've got those veggies well incorporated, you're ready for the wet ingredients. So I've got two 15 ounce cans of diced fire roasted tomatoes. And I like the fire roasted because it adds a little bit of more smokiness and depth into the chili. And then we've got our beans. I'm using one can of black beans and one can of garbanzo beans. Both of those I have drained out and rinsed. That's just gonna get any extra sodium off of them. I like to be in control of the salt. You should too. And then we're gonna finish this with four cups of low sodium veggie broth. Give that a one more big stir, crank the heat up to high, let everything come up to a boil. And then as soon as you get that boil, turn it down to a medium low and let it simmer. And then you're gonna let this chili simmer for about 30, 40 minutes. Really what you're looking for is for all those flavors to come together and for it to condense down a bit so it has a nice, thick, hearty chili consistency. Oh, and for those of you who want this recipe to be even easier, I saw a recipe on The Minimalist Baker, that's a blog, and she has a recipe for a five ingredient black bean chili where she uses a jar of salsa to help cut back on some of the ingredients. So if you're looking for a recipe like that, I will leave a link down in the description box below so you can check it out. So you guys can see the chili has cooked down, so this is ready to go. So I'm gonna shut my stove off, and then I like to finish this with the juice from one lime, so I just squish that over the whole top of the chili. And FYI guys, if you're looking to get more veggies into your diet, you could also add in some baby spinach or some chopped kale or some Swiss chard to finish this chili off. It'd be a really easy way to sneak some more leafy greens into the diet. Now, you can serve the chili as is, and some of my personal favorite chili toppings are a little bit of chopped radish, some fresh diced avocado, a little bit of chopped onion, and then cilantro right over the top. But of course, do whatever floats your boat. And like I promised, a few ways to reuse this chili during the week is option number one, and this is a great family style, easy weeknight dinner, is to turn it into tacos. So I just buy some taco shells, I warm the chili up, I fill the taco shells, and then I put some fun taco toppings on the table. So I might do lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, onion, whatever your family likes. It makes it really easy and really fun and very kid friendly. The second way I like to reuse this is to turn it into a taco salad. So what I do is I pick a bunch of crunchy veggies. So I have some romaine, I have some cabbage, I did cucumber, I have a little more radish. You can use whatever you have and whatever you like, but I do find, because the chili is warm and the veggies are soft, it's nice when it's on a bed of like fresh crunchiness underneath. So you make that crunchy salad, you put your 
extra chili over the top. Then you could either sprinkle a little cheese and or, this is what I like to do, take a few tortilla chips and crumble them over the top for a little more crunch. What I love about this mix is that come like a Tuesday or Wednesday night, I can pull the leftover chili out, my kids can have tacos, I can have a salad, everybody's happy, we're still really working with one base meal. And my third and final idea that I have for you guys today is to bring this chili along with you for a quick and easy lunch. Now, if you are worried about not having the world's best thermos or maybe you think it's not gonna stay hot to lunch, here's the little trick that I've learned. You take your thermos, does not need to be a fancy thermos. I will link down in the comments below to the thermos that I'm using. You fill it up with hot boiling water. So like you're gonna make tea, right? And then you pour that water into your thermos, put the lid on, let that sit on the counter for 15 or 20 minutes while you're doing what you do. Then you heat up your chili, dump the water out, put the chili in the thermos, and because the thermos is now already hot, the chili will be hot at lunchtime. I promise you, try it, come back, and let me know if it worked for you. So what I do is I pack up some chili, and then I love buying these little pre-made guacamoles, and then on the side, I'll either pack a few chips or some fresh, crunchy vegetables, depending on my mood. Do what lights you up. And there you have it, my friends. Three very easy ways to repurpose your plant-based sweet potato and black bean chili. Give me a big thumbs up if you like options and having easy ideas of how to reuse your food to make this whole healthy eating thing a little bit easier. And if you haven't already, please take a moment and subscribe, like, and share this video with anybody else you know who wants to make healthy eating easy. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I will see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Plant-based uh, sweet potato and black bean chili. Sweet potato from the top. Hey guys, it's from the top. <clears throat>